From the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, this is an ITTV special report. Our next guests have a passion for creating industry-leading affordable consumer electronics, care and maintenance products, and a broader range of all kinds of quality computer peripherals. We're going to talk about some of them on the program right now. First of all, the president and CEO of Digital Innovations is Colin Anderson. Colin, welcome into tomorrow. Thanks, Dave. My pleasure. And the director of new products and business development, he's busy because they keep coming out with all kinds of new things, is Johan Abadi. Johan, welcome to the, to the program. Thank you, Dave. It's a pleasure. Uh, tell me about Digital Innovations, first of all. What, what makes you guys different from all the other consumer electronic accessory companies? And there are a bunch. What do you do that uh, jumps out? Well, most accessories companies do their product development by going shopping. Yeah. They see what other people are, are, are buying or selling, and they, they try to sell the same things. What we do is we focus on the consumer. So we spend time every day trying to understand the consumer better, understand their pain points, and then we come up with innovative but simple solutions to those problems. Such as? What would be one of the first things that, uh, that is a, a classic example of what you do? Well, there's a product right here that we, uh, we call Screen Doctor. Okay. So this is a situation where you have screen cleaning. Uh, it's kind of a commodity space. A lot of people mm -hmm. have a bottle and they have a cloth. Yeah. But something that nobody solved was what that problem that every consumer has, which is what do you do with the cloth when you're not using it? Uh -huh. And so we solved that by oh, solving, storing it within the bottle. So all you do is you pop the cap like Dave just did, you spray, you wipe, and when you're done, you store it right. You just dangle back on, on top, snap it shut, and it's stored right. And, and, and it, not only is it clean and dry, it's ready for the next use when you're ready to sure. go. Sure. And in this case, as you talk about streak-free screen cleaning solution and a place for the uh, fabric that's going to do the job for you. All right. Very cool. Now, this is something a little different. Again, you mentioned other companies. Uh, you've got to either use your own cloth or they'll have one, but good luck trying to cram it back in. Yeah, or you, st <laughs> you stuff it in the closet somewhere and forget where you put it. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you're doing a lot of stuff, too, for Android phones, so kudos for that. Uh, what makes your speaker dock different? And I'm seeing that right here. Uh, tell me about this from Digital Innovations. It's basically a plug-and-play speaker dock. You'll see some speaker dock for Android that will uh, basically leverage the Bluetooth uh, technology on the phone itself. Right. What we did is we wanted to make it accessible for user of all technical level, plug-and-play, connect the uh, headphone jack into, uh, into your phone, right. and uh, the uh, micro USB into the micro USB connector of... Uh, your phone as well for charging. Very good. You can dock the phone mm -hmm. in uh, landscape portrait mode, and we design the cradle so that phones of any size with connectors in any place would be able to fit in. Yeah, I noticed that. You've got some kind of unique holders there that, uh, that right. will take any of the phones and controls on the top of the device. And, mm -hmm. uh, and speaker, of course, it's obviously the built-in speaker. And a remote. And a remote. Very good. And actually, you can <laughs> control playback with the phone screen. And if you install an app, you can control playback with the remote uh, or the buttons on the dock. Mm -hmm. And what is the speaker dock selling for? $100. Yeah. Okay, 100 bucks. Very good. good. To get a good quality uh, item there. The Nest. Where's the Nest? I had that as, oh, the tell me here. about the Nest. Very tiny. Okay, now this is a prototype, so it's, okay. not, it's not very pretty yet. <laughs> but ultimately, it'll be the size and shape of, a, of an inline skate wheel. And it solves that problem that next to mosquitoes and the common cold that we all have, <laughs> which is what do you do to keep your, your earbuds from getting broken and tangled? Yes. So with a single pull, you pull them out. They're ready in a half a second. To put them in, you flip. So you flip back the ears on the nest. You pop the buds in so they're protected. You wrap. And then you just wrap your cord. He's, he's talking about a, a little rubberized kind of device that looks like uh, the size of a small hockey puck exactly. <laughs> for our radio audience. Uh, when you're seeing it on video, you'll see what we're talking about, how convenient that is as the Nest. And it's totally flexible, so it'll fit very comfortable in a pocket, a gym bag, a computer bag, and take it wherever you want. And it'll be, in, ultimately, when we went in the market, which should be in March, Okay. it'll be you know, very cool, translucent colors. A very nice fit and finish, and uh, something we think a lot of so people. So you're thinking about styling as well. So it'll be something that's easy to carry, and people won't mind using it. You got to get the emotions right too. Of course. And any idea on price yet? Uh, we're going to be able to hit different price points based on fit and finish, but our our, our basic one will be 9.99. Okay, terrific. So 10 bucks, and of course, lap guard with radiation shielding technology. They've got a device dryer that dries out soaked electronics. Now, this is something that could come in handy for a lot of us because it's not a matter of if, but when you get your device wet. Uh, whether it's your smartphone that falls somewhere it shouldn't or otherwise. So check out all the cool things available at Digital Innovations. 
intotomorrow.com, and we'll link you there, too, with all of our guests when you visit us at intotomorrow.com. Gentlemen, thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Continued good luck. Thanks pleasure. for having us. Today. It's a pleasure, and, of course, intotomorrow.com. All the interviews, all the videos, the video highlights. You don't want to miss the goodies here that uh, Horatio and Andre shot with a cool police car with some of the latest tech you won't believe until you check that video out into tomorrow.com. I'm Dave Graveline. We're back with lots more from Las Vegas. Don't go away.